This is Mike Cronin from NodeH. I'd like to do a demonstration of high-speed data services using a Nokia E52. That's a standard handset that's just been released. It's category 9, capable of 10 megabits a second. And this is a Percelo platform, the PRC6000. It's capable of higher data rates, but for the moment we're going to be showing 10 megabits per second. The setup here is as follows. This Nokia E52 is camped on the femtocell. This netbook is capable of using this as a modem. I haven't yet established the connection. We'll look at that later. The femtocell is, has, contains a core network simulator, and it's also got a, a back-end uh, server, which it's tethered to, which is providing FTP, so that the netbook would be able to look at the file system there and transfer a file. And that's exactly what we'll do. We'll take a large file, 100 megabytes, and transfer that. We look now at establishing the connection using the Nokia OneTouch. The Nokia is established on the cell. At this point it's bringing up a data connection. The signaling that occurs this uh, phase can be analyzed using NodeH's powerful TraceH analysis tool. This tool shows all of the traffic that is sent between a UE and the femtocell. You can analyze individual messages in great detail. You can see enormous messages here such as the Radio Bureau setup. We see in that the traffic channel being set up for HSDPA. Further down we can see detailed parts of the message such as the HARC and the MACD setup. This is of enormous benefit when it comes to IoT testing since it gives you exactly the detail of what's going on inside the device. With the connection established, we're in a position to start the FTP transfer. First we connect to the FTP server. We can see on the right hand side then a view of the virtual machine. There's a large file there, 100 megabytes, and we start copying that. Now very quickly you can see that the speed of the download has risen to 1060 kilobytes. So a little bit over one megabyte of real transfer rate. Looking at Percelo's per view, we can see the actual raw data rates running very high. That's at uh, 9.3 megabits per second. The FTP transfer continues at a raw data rate in excess of 1.05 megabytes per second, equivalent to a raw data rate of about 10 megabits per second. At this rate, we're able to transfer the 100 megabyte file in just 100 seconds. Typical tariffs saturate after a certain number of megabytes or gigabytes, and this could be reached very, very quickly at these sort of rates. In fact, this saturates most DSL connections, so essentially it doesn't matter whether you're using Wi-Fi or HSTPA at these sort of rates. It's almost unimaginable that you'd be able to achieve rates like this on the macro network, but the advantage of the femtocell is that you pretty much have it yourself and your companions in the home. So fantastic data rates are achievable. A net meter continues to show that a pretty consistent uh, data transfer rate has been achieved throughout. Okay, we can see the transfer completed now. So that was a transfer of a 100 megabyte file in about 100 seconds. Thank you for watching the demo.